Hi everybody! I'm going to show you how to make this super, super cute galaxy makeup. It's got a lot of fun techniques and I hope you super enjoy this process. First I'm going to just start with foundation. It's always nice to even out the weird colors of your face. I know I've got a splotchy complexion, so foundation faux days. After that, I'm going to carve my face. I use Marin Cream Stick. This is what I use to um, give myself some nice shape. Uh, I go in with the darker color first to highlight those cheekbones, and then I use white uh, because I'm so darn pale uh, as a highlighter. I go in on the tops of my cheekbones to really give myself that cool contouring. Um, I also highlight my nose. Boop! and my Cupid's bow. I highlight my jawline and I'm gonna go in on top on my forehead a little bit and then I gotta get those brow bones. Very important. I use a beauty sponge to just blend it all out. Now I'm gonna go in with some contour powders using a brush. I'll start with the darker contours and I'll be tracing the number three pretty much from my eyebrow line to my, I guess, jawbone to with hitting, hitting my cheekbone in between. And then I go and hit the lighter areas with my highlighting powder. Now it's time to make the galaxy look. I've got pink, I've got purple, and I've got blue Marin Grease Stick. We're going to start with a pink, and I just use a regular makeup sponge and dab on the tops of my cheekbones, under my eye line, and across my nose like so. And I'm going to do the same with the purple. I'm going to hit it right on top of the pink to give it that cool ombre blend. But don't feel like you have to extend the purple all the way on top of the pink. You want a little bit of pink to still show. The blue looks a little scary at first um, because it's going to be so strong, but stick with it. It's cool. And you're just going to start from the middle and work that into the purple and to the pink, however you like. Once you got that, you can take some white and a very fine makeup brush. And I like to draw these larger stars. Don't go too crazy with it because you just want a couple. I think I wound up using three ultimately. And once I had them, I just dabbed tiny little dots all over my cheeks and across my nose from cheek to cheek to add the rest of the stars in my galaxy. It's your world, so you can do it however you want. I added some eyeshadow and some eyeliner. I use an eyeliner pen and I just go from one corner of my eye to the other, layering up to make it as thick as I like. Once it's ready, I add a wing tip. Just one or two strokes will do ya. Now I am using eyeshadow to set the eyeliner so it doesn't smudge. Now I'm pretty rubbish at doing the corners of my eyes in eyeliner so I use Marin Grease Stick Cream Stick to make that eye triangle just because I'm pretty bad at doing it with the eyeliner pen. I'll also do the corners of my eyes in that Marin Cream Stick and I'll line the underside of my eye, my eye, my waterline, using eyeshadow. Now this is really cool. I've been using uh, this magnetic eyelashes stuff. So I'm going to start by putting the magnetic eyeliner down. It doesn't have to be precise. It can be kind of loosey goosey. While that's drying, I'll add my mascara. And I always do this mascara ritual. You can do it or not do it. I put a nice, healthy layer of mascara on the bottom of my lash, then the tops of my lashes, then the bottom again. And don't forget your lower lash line, too. Now that that's all dry, I can take my magnetic lashes and I can just plop them near my lash line, but not directly on top. There's plenty of black there, so I don't have to go crazy. I can make the eye shape that I want. I will use my mascara to marry 
my natural lashes with these super fake ones. Now to add the lipstick, very important. And I've got this cool holographic top coat, which I'm just going to throw on because it's going to look really sweet. If you're feeling bold, maybe a little brave, you can add some glitter. I like to use a watercolor brush with the ultra fine glitter because it won't smudge the underlying makeup and I just dab it on my cheekbones. Time for a wig. Hobbity hop. And here we go. Let's adjust that lace front looking fabulous. All right, well, that is my look. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed making it for you. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a follow, whatever you like. Thanks for coming. Okay, bye.